Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another one of the Grand Cru fragrances from Maison Lancome, Roses Barbaranza. Uh, this fragrance was created by Julian uh, Raconet, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not, I'm very sorry. And it's supposed to be this really beautiful, luscious, almost gourmand rose fragrance. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, if it's worth picking up and checking out, then keep watching. If you're unfamiliar with the Maison Lancome line, I'm going to link all of my reviews below. It's probably one of my favorite line of fragrances just in general. And I have to give a huge thank you to Delicious Delights because it was her initial unboxing video of Oud Bouquet that kind of put me on the, put it on the radar for me. Now, uh, Roses Barbaranza is created, was created in 2017 and the nose is Julian Raconet. I will write his name below so that way if I'm mispronouncing it you can at least um, research him check him out if this is a fragrance you like and you want to know what else he's done but basically this line of fragrance is from Lancome basically Lancome reached out to a lot of very prominent noses in the industry and they wanted to create a line of fragrances to kind of pay tribute to the founder of Lancome and I just really love this line in general. I've talked about it before. If I'm meeting a bunch of fragrance people and I want to impress them, I, I wear this line. And this line does impress. So enough chit chat. Let's get into the notes and the now review. The notes in this are Damask Rose Absolute, Damask Rose Essence, Spices and Pistachio. Now when Carlos was in town, Tina, Carlos and I, we all filmed a variety of collabs and the video I filmed with them was a first impressions where they got to try, um, I think the entire line minus two. Um, and also uh, I got to try do a first impressions of some of the fragrances that I hadn't tried yet that I had samples of and Roses Berberanza was one of them. Now, Parfait de Roses and Roses Berberanza are just beautiful rose fragrances. And as much as I loved Parfait de Roses and I will be acquiring Parfait de Roses, Roses Berberanza is the one that really just stuck out to me as something I need to get my hands on. This is a beautiful fragrance. It has a really nice kind of sweet syrupy rose to it, but that pistachio in this sets it apart and makes it more dessert like without making it heavier or creamier. It kind of adds a little bit of a tang and a little tiny bit of a creamy acidity. And I know creamy acidity, what does that mean? But I'm talking about kind of like bergamot. You know how you have bergamot, Earl Grey tea, and you think, you know, creamy milk tea, Earl Grey, but it's a citrus. For some reason, the pistachio is making this kind of nougaty, like pastry, but still sweet, like a rose water dessert or something, but the nuts in here, I, I just, I have a hard time describing the type of dessert this is, maybe like a baklava or like a beautiful Middle Eastern dessert soaked in rose water and filled with pistachios. That sounds amazing right now, but this is such a beautifully delicious fragrance without being too heavy too creamy, too muddled. There's a clarity about this and it's just stunning. If you like rose fragrances, if you like gourmand fragrances, if you like ultra sweet fragrances, because this is an ultra sweet fragrance, this is definitely one I would recommend checking out. Now, although it does have spices and pistachio in it, this isn't a spiced or nutty fragrance whatsoever. In fact, all that really does is elevates the rose in this. It is first and foremost a rose fragrance. I don't know why I'm smelling the bottle. I have it on my hand. But it smells like rose syrup or rose water syrup. It's just really, really delicious and mouthwatering and just completely a gorgeous fragrance. And if you like fragrances like that, if you love rose fragrances, if you like gourmand fragrances, if you like fragrances that are sexy, sensual, and feminine, and unapologetically sweet, this is a great fragrance for you. It's sweet, but it's not a jarring, tooth-stinging sweetness. Again, 
the pistachio and the spices actually add a little bit of complexity and depth to this, which doesn't make it turn jammy. That's the other thing I like about this fragrance too. It is an ultra sweet syrupy rose fragrance, but it is in no way a jammy rose. And I love jammy rose fragrances, so I have nothing wrong with those or I find nothing wrong with those, but it's nice to have something different. And I think that's why Rosa's Berberanza really just struck a chord with me. Now, on top of it being a beautifully sweet, rich, luscious rose fragrance, it also has fantastic wear time. I get about 10 to 12 hours on my skin, and the projection on this is really nice. It's past arm's length for the few hours, but it does stay, you know, it lingers in the air around you for a variety of hours afterwards. I don't know why I chose the word variety. For a number of hours after, you can probably, it's about arm's length at um, a very light whiff, like a very light lingering scent, not as strong as within the first few hours, but within arm's length, you can still smell it up to 10 hours. My husband could smell it on me um, when he, um, when we were eating dinner and he's just like, you're wearing it again, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, even though it had been on my skin for 10 hours. So yeah, so to recap that part, because that was a jumble, great longevity. <laughs> fantastic longevity, um, projection, sillage, really strong the first few hours, not super loud, but definitely past arm's length for the first, I'd say three to four hours. And then you can, um, it's not a skin set and doesn't become really intimate. It's within arm's length, but it's a little bit lighter and not so strong but it stays in the air for the last few hours of wear. So it does have a really great performance with it as well. Now, my husband doesn't like this fragrance, even though he likes rose fragrances, because it is a kind of a unique sweet rose scent. He actually doesn't mind jammy rose fragrances. He doesn't really like powdery or musky fragrances, but he doesn't mind jammy rose fragrances and he likes jammy rose fragrances. And he actually likes Middle Eastern desserts. So I thought he'd actually really like this, but I think that there's something about like the spices and the pistachio on this that he just does not like but I think that it's the pistachios and the spices in this with the damask rose that sets this apart as a real unique, rich, syrupy, sweet rose fragrance. So it is definitely something I would recommend sampling first before you purchase it, especially if you like jammy rose fragrances because this is not a jammy rose fragrance. But if you like gourmands and you love rose fragrances and you're looking for something unique and wearable to add to your collection, I think Rose's Berberanza is definitely worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, if you like my fragrance reviews and my videos in general, Remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.